What's crackling, fam? What's crackling? It's your boy, Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk, we're gonna show one just for you, fam. This one's gonna be about, um, Frenchy, French Montana, Coke Boys. I just saw the video about, um, today, earlier. French Montana size some, um, look like the mansion. Sitting at the big table by himself. By himself, a big long table that could probably fit 20 people. He's sitting there by himself, right? Sitting there by himself with no shirt on. You know what I'm saying? With no shirt. I don't know if he had any, you can see the, the bottom part. I hope he has some boxes on or shorts or some shit, fam, right? But then who comes out? Puffy, Puff Daddy, huh? P. Diddy, Love, Thief. He the one pops out there and starts singing happy birthday to him. You know what I'm saying? You say happy birthday to French. If someone sings happy birthday to their homie, there's nothing bad with that, fam. You just know. Give, give his boy some props. You know, give him a shout out. But then you don't come up there in a robe, though. On a robe, had a robe on. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, had a robe on. That's all we know that he had a robe on. Singing to French Montana. And French sitting there looking like he was forced to sit there. You know what I'm saying? That was the kick of it, fam. He was sitting looking confused. Looking confused and dumbfounded with some dude, your homie there. Singing happy birthday to you. Puffy wasn't holding the camera. Or was that? I think someone was holding the camera. Yeah, he was holding the camera. So I mean, some of the people there. What kind of stuff he, they put Frenchy through? Huh? Did they stretch French for his birthday? Hmm? Why would he do that? This is not the first time we saw these dudes looking a little, little um, suspect. There was one I did a video about two years ago. They lay on the beach. Laying on the beach. I'm talking cutting. Cutting. Head, head over here, cut on the damn beach. That's something a man never does with another man. If a man's going to hold a man, cut a man, it's going to be his son. If he's holding a, a, a dude like that, that must be his homie, and his homie's going through some distress. Distress, not just sitting on vacation in Miami somewhere, where the hell are you at? You're letting the beast there holding each other. Ooh, goddamn fam. We know that's wrong. No matter what y'all want to say, what y'all want to come back, oh, he's a hard dude. He's the coke boy from the Bronx. He's um North African, all this yada yada stuff there. I don't care about that stuff. He can keep on African all he wants. He's been living in America goddamn about 40 years. Huh? 40 years. Don't say he go back to Morocco, man. One time a year to visit. You know what I'm saying? He's from the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? He's just like us. I don't care. <laughs> he is just like us. And he know better. He know better. He ain't no puff daddy history. So why would you keep, um, keep putting predicaments where you are looking suspect? You know what I believe is like this here, fam? I believe you have these dudes here and he put them through these predicaments, you know, to make them look kind of crazy. You know, hug up on them, get close in their faces, you know, say happy birthday to them. So people could think maybe, maybe that um Puffy was tapping on him. You know what I'm saying? That's a goddamn shame, right? But then I just clicked on some other thing there. I saw, um, what's I do? Our favorite drunken lunch. I don't know if he drinks anymore. I don't know. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen this dude in a while, 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 while. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't, haven't been on my radio. Hassan Campbell. Hassan Poppy Campbell. He was, um, you know, clowning French Montana for being, for having. Happy birthday sung to him. You hear me, fam? Hassan Poppy Campbell, the dude from the Bronx. The one who accuses Bambada of molesting him for about for, 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 for about two decades. How can you be molested for fucking two decades, fam? Huh? You can't be. He says that's on my he started going in when he was 15. Might be a little younger, you know what I'm saying? Might be a little younger. Because the word I got on the streets, they are out the Bronx, they like older dudes. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, if you've been molested, so-called molested at 15 years old, right? Do see pictures. Now he went to prison. I mean, went to jail. Whatever it was about Rikers Island. Did his little, 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 little couple months. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, about jail. Listen, this thing. It's been no goddamn years. So I've been seeing these fake ass gangsters here. No, they moist. No, see, most definitely, right? So um, this dude sitting you, he said that's all my when he gets sick, Van Bada sends some herbs and spices. What man sends another man herbs and spices unless he really cares for him, like a son or a lover, you know what I'm saying? 
He gets out there. I saw a picture of him and on Bam. This picture had to be about at least by now he's 10 years old. You know, he out there bodyguarding everything for him, the Zoom Nations and doing all that stuff there. So if something was molesting you, treating you bad, would you go back to him? No, hell no. Like I tell you before, Bam Barter was giving Hassan Poppy Campbell good loving. That boy was getting good loving. You know what I'm saying? Yes, good loving. That's why he kept coming back. Kept coming back. He's not the only one, fam. Do you believe that he's the only one? He even said in one video that his um his big brother, some dude that's locked up, his biological brother stretched him too. Tapped his butt cheeks too. He said that there. You know what I'm saying? He, he said by the time he got the Bam Bada, he was already broken and stretched out, fam. So by the time Bam got something that did, it was like throwing a, a hot dog down a hallway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, fam, he was loose, extra loose. But he went get on the internet here and talk about um, French man talking about doing some spicy, zesty stuff there. You know what I'm saying? When you're documented, <laughs> your case is documented. You know what I'm saying? If you messing with some dude. Hmm? Messing with the dude. You love to. So you love him like a pops. So there's no way in the world that um I saw him Poppy Campbell should be talking about French Montana or something like that. I don't care if you, if you saw a French Montana kissing puff daddy with tongue. You can't say nothing. We can, but you can't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? You want to get here and talk to some bull to my you was died. You was died. Fam, come on out there, fam. Y'all know, y'all know that's a lie. Huh? So you think Bam Bada, some dude that makes music, he's like a ghetto star, you know what I'm saying? All the hissy, this hit hissy guy, now he got all his little groups around him. He can have girls, boys, whatever you want, he can do it, you know what I'm saying? Because he's Bam, he's little nation, you know what I'm saying? He had a name, you know what I'm saying? So now you're hanging out with you, you going to his house, leaving your house, going to his house, you say you open the guy at that door, it smells like feces, was giving high fives and Vaseline, splatting everywhere. People sitting around watching on. Um, you know what he said? They said watching on um, porn. Porn. Three, four minutes in the porn, they all jacking off watching porn, sitting there with, with, with Bam in there. Tell them, taking pictures. Huh? Come on, taking pictures. Bam, to make some muscles. Do this here. He said, he said he was doing it too. They all doing it. Huh? And Bam stretching the boys out, you know what I'm saying? But he's a snitch too. You see, he, um, Named his homeboys too that was getting stretched out up there, you know what I'm saying, doing crazy ass things. He don't want to be, you know, just alone by himself. And they were like, well, it was some of my homies too. You no, know, they was giving a head too and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, definitely. But I say it like this here. There's no way in the world some dude gonna sit there and say, hey, if he if he is some kind of, I don't know, I'm not a homo. I'm not a homo, so I can't really say, but I would just think, you know what I'm saying? If he's a homosexual and he, this dude is bent over on a goddamn bed on all fours, you know what I'm saying? Visualize this dude here. He talking about he put his meat between my thighs. So he had me bent over and all goddamn fours, but put his meat between this dude's thighs and hump. And hump. And hump. Until he busts a nut. Do you believe some shit like that? Are oh, you goddamn crazy? He gonna do he gonna hump some thighs while some butthole right there that's been already stretched and probably been pre-lubed before he got the bam house, fam. You know what I'm saying? He be coming up there pre-lubed. Cause he know what's gonna happen to the boys up there, fam. You know what I'm saying? But it's my little short fam, we'll cut it real short there, but just to see um this dude Hassan <coughs> talk about French mentality, like some kind of joke with it. <laughs> when you are documented, you are documented. If you're getting your cheeks tapped, you shouldn't be saying nothing else about another man, fam. And I'm my fan base.